Good morning. Today's lesson is 3.8. Order pair relationships. Our essential question today, how can you identify the relationship between points on a coordinate plane? The four regions of the coordinate plane that are separated by the x and y axis are called quadrants. Quadrants are numbers numbered with Roman numerals 1, 2, 3, and 4. If you know the signs of the coordinate points, you can determine the quadrant where the point is located. So here's quadrant 1. It's positive, positive. Quadrant two is negative, positive. And quadrant three is negative, negative. And quadrant four is positive, negative. The reason being because you go over positive, up positive. You go over negative, and you go up positive. Over negative, down positive. Over positive, down negative. The point, let's unlock the problem. The point, negative 3 and 4, represents the location of a bookstore on a map of showing them all. Identify the quadrant where the point is located. So what is the x-coordinate of the point? Right here is my x-coordinate, right? Negative 3. What is the y-coordinate? 4. Positive 4. So think, the x-coordinate is negative 3, so the point is 3 units to the left of the origin. So remember when we're doing negative, we're going this way, and there's my origin, right? Since the point is to the left of the origin, it must be located either in <coughs> the second quadrant or the third quadrant. Because this is the second and this is the third, right? Step two, examine the y-coordinate. Think the y-coordinate is is four. So the point is four units to the up from the origin, because it's positive, right? So it's gonna be up. Since the point of origin, since the point is above the origin, it must be located in the second quadrant, which is this one right here. Check the graph by graphing. So we've got negative three, positive four. So my point's gonna go right there. So the point representing the bookstore is located in quadrant two. Look for structure. Look at the signs of the coordinates of the points in quadrant one and two. What do they have in common and how are they different? Well, the y-coordinates of points in both quadrants one and two are positive. The coordinates of points in quadrant one are positive, but the x-coordinates in quadrant two are negative. So quadrant one, it's positive, positive, but in quadrant two, it's negative, positive. A figure has line symmetry if it can be folded about a line so that it is two parts matched exactly. If you cut out the isosceles triangle at the right and fold it on the dashed lines, the two parts would match. So if you cut it right here and you fold it right here, both of the sides are gonna match. So it's line symmetry. A line that divides the fi figure in two halves that are reflections of each other is called the line of symmetry. So right there's your line of symmetry. You can use the idea of line symmetry to analyze the relationships between points such as 5, negative 1, or negative 5, negative 1, whose coordinates differ only in their signs. Identify the lines of symmetry in the rectangle. The x-axis is a horizontal line, right here, of symmetry, and the y-axis is a vertical line. So there's my vertical line. Look at the two points, points A and B. What do you notice about the x-coordinates and what do you notice about the y-coordinates? So here's my a and here's my b. So 5, 5, 4, 4. They have the same numbers, they're just different signs, right? So the x-coordinates are the same numbers, are the same, but the y-coordinates are the opposite. Point b is a reflection of point a across the axis. How do you know? Well. The axis, if you fold the rectangle about the x-axis, point B and point A will line up with each other. So if I fold it along the axis right here, these two points are going to line up with each other. Look at points A and D. What do you notice about the x-coordinates? What do you notice about the y-coordinates? So here's A and D, right? So A and D both have a 5, they're just opposite signs, and they both have a positive 4. So the x-coordinate are opposite, and the y-coordinates are the same. Point D is a reflection of point A across which axis, and how do you know? Well, 
the y-axis, because if you fold the rectangle about the y-axis, point D and point A will line up with each other. Which point is reflection of point B across the x-axis and then the y-axis? Well, point D. Compare the coordinates of point B to the coordinates of point D. Um, it's kind of hard to see the map up here, but when you do that, you're going to find that the x and y coordinates of point B are the opposite of x and y coordinates of point D. Let's do a couple from the Sharon show. Identify the quadrant where the point is located. So if I have positive 2 and negative 5, on the graph, to point the first, I'm going to move to the right of the origin, because that's where the positive is, right? Then I'm going to move down, because it's negative 5. And so my quadrant is going to be quadrant 4. So again, if we're doing 3, it's negative 6, negative 2. So that means I'm going to go to the left, and I'm going to go down, right? And that quadrant is quadrant 3. You do these in Roman numerals, right? So you have 1, 2, 3, and then 4. The rest I'd like you to do on your own or with a partner. Um, I'm also available to help if you need it. Good luck.